But I mean, how did it all happen? I mean, that, like you said, why can't we talk about something else? But it, the reason I reached out to you is because you have so much to say. I mean, you've been t- doing your videos on Facebook, warning about Trumpism, warning about the evangelical right. Yeah. Why can't we just leave this alone? Yeah. But the thing is, you know, I, I, I think there's something you and I have not really discussed perhaps enough mm. is the shift within evangelicalism itself to the point where you almost have to redefine the term because these people now claiming to be Christian nationalists and evangelicals, the, the polls show that less and less of them are actually attending church, less and less of them actually know anything about Christianity. This, they, this is a, a political label now that is being worn by people who are evangelical or former evangelical, but an increasing number of people who are just using this as a shorthand for right-wing, white, Republican, MAGA, politics Mm -hmm. and the evangelicals of course keep playing to that because their big conferences at places like cpac and these other things you know feature as keynote speakers all these republican candidates and commentators so now you know it's you can't really talk about the republican party or the evangelical movement as separate things and you can't really talk about evangelicals being influenced by trump or trump trying to follow their playbook. This is all now one thing. And so I think the time is now gone when you could talk evangelicals back into a different political position based on what, for instance, you would interpret as what Christianity actually teaches. Mm -hmm. This is is a non-starter now. There is no conscience to appeal to because the movement has become so hard-assed and so dedicated to this view that they now don't even identify with democracy. 